everybody and welcome to another of my phonics videos and um, so again I'm doing phase four if you've got any questions um, just ask okay thank you hi we're going to start our phase four phonics lesson okay so remember phase four is just a recap of phase three and embedding so I'm going to start with our phonics board okay so you can shout out at home you can have a little go at um, pause the video have a go at saying all the sounds that you've covered so far so point at one and say it point at another one and say it or you could go on to um, phonics play and you could play um, flashcards okay and you can see if you can get quicker each day so that's how you're going to start so you, off you go practice your phase three sounds Right, I hope you were really, really quick at your phase three sounds. Right, now we're going to practice our phase three um, tricky words. So, again, you can pause the screen and just shout the words, or you can go on phonics play and you can play the tricky word trucks, or even you could play the video on YouTube which sings all the tricky words. So have a little practice at your tricky words. Brilliant. So... In phase four, we've got more tricky words to learn. So each time you do a bit of phonics, try and introduce a new tricky word. So we've got said, have, like, so, do, some, come, little, there, one, when, what, and out. So the, by the end of phase four, these are the words that they should just see and be able to say like that. Okay, so the one we're going to introduce today is this one. Do you think you can have a go at saying it at home? Yeah, you're right, it's said. If you were to read it phonetically, you would go said, said. Doesn't really sound like a word, does it? So you've got to remember that it is said. Right, we've got a sentence next to it. So said is used in speech, okay? So it might be, I'm tired, said Miss Clark because it's something that's come out of my mouth, okay? It's something that I have said, <laughs> okay? It's come out of my mouth. So, mum said, you are kind, okay? Have a go at reading the other example. Go to the park, said dad, okay? So remember, that's something that came out of dad's mouth, okay? Have a read of this one. He said we can go to the farm and you can come too. Okay, that is a lovely sentence. So said is what the boy said. Okay, it's what came out of his mouth. So have a little go at coming up with your own sentences using the word said. It could be your little brother's just gone, I'm hungry. So you can say, Ben said, I'm hungry. Or he said he was hungry. So have a little go at coming up with the way of uh, putting said into sentences. Right, so here's our phonics activity today. So I've got a picture. What's it a picture of? Yeah, you write the number 10. So I want you to write down the number 10 in words. So I don't want it like this. So sound it out. F -E. You write that down. Right, I hope you all wrote the word 10 down correctly. So sound it out with me. F -E. Right, but we haven't finished yet. We're going to change this word into a different word. So my picture has magically changed to, yeah, you write a tent, okay? So I want you to take the word tent and change it into tent. Do you think you can do that? Right, I hope you all had a little go at writing the word 10. So, we already have the word 10 
and we wanted to change it into ten. Hmm, what did I have to do to change ten into ten? So we've got ten. Right, so tent is t e n t. All we have to do is put a t on the end. Right, do you know how to do this now? I hope so, because here is our next one. Can you write down the word Ben, please? The word Ben. Sound it out and write it down. Right, I hope you've all written down the word Ben. Because you're going to change Ben into Ben. So don't rewrite the word. Change the word Ben into Ben. Right. Let's have a look here. So, Ben. So there's our Ben. Right. How do we change it into Ben? Sound it out with me. Ben. And oh, all I need to do is put a d on the end. Fantastic! Right here is our next one. So you're going to write the word men, and then you're going to write mend. Okay. So first you write the word men, then you write mend. Good luck. Right, okay, I'll do that example for you. So, men, sound it out with me. Fantastic, men. Right, how do we change it to mend? We just put a d on the end. Right, at home, see if you can think of a word, and then all you have to do is change it. Put one letter on to change it into a different word, so you can have a little go at that at home. Once you've had a go at that, could you write a sentence using the words that you've just made? So it could be a sentence using the word tent, bend, or mend. Okay. So don't bend that. I will have to mend it. Said Dad. Ooh, I even put my tricky word in there. Okay, so have a little go, as many sentences as you want, and then you can go on to the next activity, which is, can you read this sentence? So she, ooh, I should read it for you. So you read that sentence, okay? And that is just read how you end by reading the sentence, okay? So yeah, the sentence was she went to look at the tent. Okay, thank you for watching my phonics lesson. I hope you found it useful. If you've got any questions, put it in the comments and good luck.